Hello, I'm uh, Charlie Radigan. Welcome to another edition of Around Woodstock. I'm with my friend Tom Weschler, and Tom and I are sitting on a bench uh, by the Ottaquichi River on the Ottaquichi River Trail. And uh, Tom's going to give us uh, some background and history uh, of the trail. And uh, we're also going to be able to take a look at uh, some of the views of the trail. So, uh, Tom, uh, nice to see you. Uh, and uh, thank you for joining us. About six years ago, 15 uh, community members of Woodstock and the surrounding areas got together with a common idea, uh, which was, wouldn't it be great to have a walking trail, a flat walking trail, uh, near the center of Woodstock, that provided river access. Why, why was the flat important, Tom? Um, Woodstock <laughs> has many beautiful uh, and abundant uh, natural resources, but all of them involve elevation change. Whether you're walking Faulkner Park or Mount Peg uh, or uh, Mount Tom, you're always going up and down and uh, what we wanted to create was um, an opportunity for everybody uh, to be able to access the river, nature, and uh, get some good exercise. Uh, we were able to envision a trail um, that is all frankly on private property. And that was the key to uh, unlocking and creating this trail. 80% um, of Vermont's trails are actually on private property. And so uh, we have four wonderful property owners here, uh, the Woodstock Resort Corp, East End Partners, uh, Sunset Farms, uh, condominium association and then the town of Woodstock wastewater plant are the four property owners uh, that have all agreed to allow uh, the creation of this wonderful trail and so with that uh, the river trail provides access to the Ottaquichi River uh, as Woodstock, the river goes through the middle of town, uh, but other than uh, White Cottage, uh, the, uh, behind the Little Theater, there are really limited uh, river access points. When we created this trail, uh, we were very uh, conscious of the fact that we wanted to be able to access the Ottaquichi River. And so in the building of the trail, we've created about 10 river access points where we have picnic tables, we have benches, uh, little kids can access uh, the river just as they do at White Cottage. Uh, so we've succeeded uh, in achieving what we originally planned to do. Well, I think one of the striking things that I find about the trail is that you've created a section for uh, people uh, of, of all abilities. Um, and I think that's a significant uh, thing, and I'll let you talk about that in a second. But being able to give people who would not normally be able to get out into a natural environment is hugely significant. And uh, so you've thought through that. So tell me a little bit about the uh, uh, accessibility part of the trail. One of the projects that we took on after we created the original trail uh, was to make the uh, Ottaquichi River Trail universally accessible. And so, uh, again, with support from Woodstock's EDC, 
uh, we moved forward with uh, the Universal Access Project, uh, where we've created a, uh, call it an ADA compliant ramp. Uh, we have the first uh, third of a mile of the trail is uh, wheelchair accessible or usable by anybody with mobility issues. And so now, um, really, the uh, Ottaquichi River Trail is open to everybody. And, uh, you know, so we enable uh, folks to enjoy nature and enjoy the river. I'll interject a little bit of background if I could. Uh, we opened the trail uh, four years ago on Labor Day of uh, uh, 2020. So perfect timing for COVID and providing people access out, um, to nature. We have averaged, we have uh, a periodically used trail counters here and uh, we have about 500 people using the trail per week. Uh, so, um, you know, it, it really has been embraced by the community. Um, when you use the trail, you, after the, uh, the initial third of a mile, which is more formal, um, uh, of a more formal trail, you get to what we call the lower field where you're actually, um, it's really a hay field. Uh, the hay is used by Billings Farm uh, for their cows and uh, the trail goes along the edges of the hay field. And um, when you're walking the trail, periodically you have perpendicular um, access points that go to the river and um, there are a, a series of benches at each of the river access points and some of the um, uh, of those points actually also have picnic tables uh, to encourage family use. Uh, so I'm a a, a bird watcher, a, a birder, and uh, one of the things that became apparent uh, a, a number of years ago was the uh, area is a, a magnet for migrant birds. Uh, so in the spring and in the fall, and when I was walking yesterday on the trail, yep. um, the, the migrants are resting uh, and were disturbed by my uh, walking presence and elevated up and, and moved. So there's a significant amount of migration going on right at this moment in time. And if you're a birder, or if you're just somebody who enjoys birds, come on out. This is a perfect time, to actually. Uh, so, um, Tom, as you know, nothing is ever uh, permanent. <laughs> change uh, happens uh, at the least opportune times and I know the original trail then was impacted significantly by two flood events and maybe you could talk about that and what that meant to the trail. As you can see directly behind us is the Ottacoochee River in a much more tranquil and normal <laughs> condition. Unfortunately, last July, it was anything but that. Um, last July, uh, we suffered, we, the Ottaquichi River Trail, suffered uh, extensive flooding and damage uh, caused by the, uh, the river, frankly. Um, the river, but for our trail, we lost all of our benches, all of the picnic tables, the bog bridges, trail signage, um, because uh, originally we constructed all of that out of wood, and clearly if there's eight or 10 feet of water, wood floats. We have gone 
we have done extensive fundraising. Uh, we got uh, grants from a Vermont state agency. Uh, as an organization, uh, the Ottaquichi River Trail joined Woodstock Community Trust. And uh, because we needed to have an umbrella 501c3 uh, to make contributions uh, tax deductible. Uh, so now the Ottaquichi River Trail is a project of Woodstock Community Trust. We, as the River Trail, uh, want to uh, make, in the rebuild, make the trail more resilient. And what we're doing, for example, um, we're replacing what were our wooden benches with stone benches, uh, with the idea that stone doesn't float. And so, uh, as an example, we're trying to, uh, we've rebuilt the bog bridges, the trail signage will try to be smarter about how we do things. Uh, in addition, by community support, Vermont state support, and a tremendous amount of volunteer work, uh, we've been able to get the trail back open and usable. I do want to say, yes, extend uh, a welcome to the entire community. Come use the trail. It's your trail. And also want to say thanks to uh, the, the Ottaquichi River uh, Trail team. There's a core team uh, that really make this trail happen. I certainly put a lot of work in. Uh, but it is it falls in comparison to the other team members and uh, the volunteers that we get from the Woodstock community. So we're thrilled to be able to have this trail and we encourage everybody to come and use it.